Well, long before there were big box stores and super centers, there were general stores. Places where people would travel to get groceries, clothing, and pretty much anything else they needed. And this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lauritsen takes us to the Harkin store near New Ulm to show us how business was done nearly 150 years ago. This is the Walmart. We say we are the Walmart of 1870. A century and a half ago, long before Walmart, Target, Costco, and all the others, the Harkin store was literally the only store for miles around. You could get nails here. You could get gun supplies. You could get dishes, fabric. Not to mention ready-made clothing, medicines, shoes. There is no right and left to these shoes, and they switched them. And even your mail. It was also the post office. Alexander Harkin built this store next to the Minnesota River and nine miles from New Ulm. Back then, it took two days to travel those nine miles. Harkin was also the town's coroner, justice of the peace, and treasurer at the school. He was the man to see. First of all, they didn't want him here in the German community of West Newton, but the Scotman, he won him over and he got to be uh, a very influential man here. And in some ways, he still is. When railways took over, riverboat traffic died, and so did the town of West Newton. The only buildings left are Harkin's home and his store, with many of its original goods still in stock. Ruth Grave isn't just an expert on the store. It was very tough on the general store. She's also had to become an expert on grasshoppers. They were the Rocky Mountain kind. They came on prevailing winds in 1873. It wasn't a depression or major storm that hurt the local economy, but a tiny insect the size of a quarter. For five years, grasshoppers turned the summer skies black across southern Minnesota. They ate all the crops, devastated the whole area. Farmers had no money. But some farmsteads did survive and so did the Harkin General Store. In those days, a penny saved really was a penny earned. It could get you a pinch of tobacco or a piece of candy. The Herman the German candy is very similar to what they would have had. It wasn't all work either. I think if I just move this one up. Some of it was fun and game. Do you ever move your back row or do you keep it the whole time? Mm, it's hard to move that. I don't like to move that very often. Uh, 1870s checkers, jacks, marbles, and a game called graces were on hand. I gotta give it some air though, right? Though there was nothing graceful. Yeah about the way I played it. Whoa! Into the window. <laughs> Walking into the store means taking a step back in time when the olden days were new. Downloaded music was a fiddle and video games were still a century away. Ready, set, go. Hey, how about that? We have a lot of people that come special here because they want to see the old things, want to know the history of how Minnesota was developed. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The Harkin store is open from early May through October, and they will be having an old games day on July 29th. For more information on visiting the Harkin store, just go to wccocom links.